Welcome back to another episode in our van build series. So last week was a bit different. We ended up bringing the van to a different location where we're actually living and now finishing the van build. This episode is a little bit different as well. We have to unpack everything we had to move with and we're also getting the van ready to have a safety inspection, which means we had to get four new tires and do a few other things to tie up some loose ends. So by the end of this episode, we should have passed our safety inspection and been able to enjoy our brand new shiny tires that we put on the van. So we hope you enjoy this one. Well guys, it's pretty clear that there's there's no fence around us anymore. We are out of the backyard and we are in a new location. So we just, just got back from um, our highway trip in the van. We drove about a hundred kilometers on uh, the 100 series highway here in Nova Scotia and it worked great. Um, huge, huge just relief knowing that this thing runs as well as it does. Um, I don't know if you guys actually I don't I don't think we actually told you guys but we had the engine apart in this van so we got a very very good deal on this van we got this van for about a third of market value and that's literally because the engine didn't work so I had the engine completely apart in this the only two lights on the dash one is a missing TPMS or tire pressure monitoring system um, that's because we actually have the spare tire on the front of the van right now the tire that was in the front is under the van in the spare tire location. One of the tires had a little slit in it and I just didn't need to have it blow out on the highway. The second light we have on is that we have a burnt out brake light. So uh, having the, you know, knowing that it works, knowing that we just drove it 100 kilometers and it has no issues. The only so we are off to our next destination with the van. Nick's just in front of me, I'm behind him. Everything is fully loaded, packed to the brim. I don't think we could fit more stuff. Well guys, we made it to our new location with the van. Um, to say that the van has a lot of things in it is a definite understatement. This thing is packed to the roof. Guess we'll just open the door and show you. It is pretty full in here, as you can see. But you know what? A lot of this is, there's a couple of bags of garbage, but uh, a lot of this is just parts and things for the van underneath here. It's all things we're gonna be using. All our insulation still back there. On the plus side, our cabinets did not fall down in transit. So we're looking good. It's, uh, it's just as full as the front. Nothing's falling out yet. Literally jinxed it. So this back end of the van is just okay, as full as the front. So anyway, you know what? Things are looking good. The van is looking good. Now it's time to set up the GoPro and uh, and unpack this whole thing. It's gonna take us a while, but uh, let's clean this thing out. So we made it to this location that we're going to keep building the van from. Uh, it's our family cottage. Got a nice big garage behind me here. A lot of stuff inside, but a lot of it is things that we can move out, like lawn furniture and things like that, and we can gain a lot of space in there. So I'm sure you can see what I'm stepping on right here. We got all five of the rims that came off the van. So you probably wonder why we got the rims off the van. And it's because we're actually going to paint them all. So these rims are kind of rusty and they're silver and we want them to be black. So we're going to paint them black. We got all the stuff we need to do it. 
We're gonna do it today. It's raining outside and you're really not supposed to paint when it's raining, but uh, we have to because we need the van to get safety inspected and it obviously needs a set of tires to be safety. So we got the rims, we got to paint them. So that's today's plan. Now, don't really know how we're going to do this, but we're going to do this. Yeah, so this is our paint booth. We just finished it up here. It's basically just bed sheets. You can see all the different types of bed sheets. Some of them have been used for paint before. But uh, basically, this is it. Um, we're gonna do something just to cover the floor. But uh, yeah, it's basically a little makeshift paint booth, as you can see. All right, guys, welcome back to the paint booth. So what we did is we uh, we went in and we scuffed every single one of these rims. You can see, like right there, it's kind of down because we sanded it there. Well, we sanded it everywhere, but there it kind of went a little deeper. Um, we sanded all the rust, so like all this is like perfectly smooth all the way around. We sanded each one of these holes. So it took us a long time to get all these sanded, but they're really, they look good now. Um, so we've dried them. I've heated them up with the um, heat gun there for a minute. And I think we're actually in pretty good shape here. Um, I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna shake up some of the paint I still have to tape off the tire pressure monitor sensors. So I'm gonna tape those off. Um, and actually here, we're just gonna tape off like these tip of the threads. We're actually gonna paint that the same color as the rim because they're a little bit corroded and they don't look that good. Not that this really is a show piece by any means. And then we're also gonna tape off this sensor up here just so that no overspray gets in or on that. So initially, initially we did plan to paint both sides of these rims, both inside and the faces but uh, we're actually not going to do that anymore mainly because the insides of these like though this is a little bit rusty um really that's in pretty good shape for a steel rim especially one that's nine years old i'm going to go get some tape go shake up some cans of paint and uh see what happens we're in the paint booth but safety first, I have a full on respirator on, so I will not even smell the paint fumes that are about to be in our paint booth. Our paint booth did its job. Um, at least I think it did. I don't know. This is the current situation. We have all of our rims and you can clearly see where the drop cloth was. It clearly did its job. You can really see it here. That is not a shadow. That is paint on this blanket. And then these are the rims. So they're still very soft. They are dry, but they're very soft. So I think we got to take them down and take them upstairs. I do have a fire going upstairs um, for what cost a $45 paint job. They look pretty good. only mean one thing. Let's go get some new tires.
Well, we are at the place where the van is getting safety inspected. Okay, so the van is going in right now, which is pretty exciting. Here it comes. So, folks, this is the paperwork here. We got four brand new tires, we got a safety, we're fully legal. We can now drive this thing whenever, wherever we want. Let's get out of here, let's head out to the cottage. that's where this week's episode is going to end but we have lots of exciting stuff coming we were able to get all the materials we need to finish the van as well as being able to work on it full time so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can stay updated on everything that we're about to dive into